Year 9 Season 1 just came out today, but I've also been playing the test server for weeks before this, so I can confidently tell you who the best operators are to play starting today in order to win your rank game. Let's start off with Tubero. He's got one of the best DMRs on defense, and they just gave it an ACOG as well, meaning you can take all the long range gunfights you want while having one of the best abilities in the game. Plus, he counters the new operator Deimos too, so he's definitely worth running. Running Tubero makes you feel like you're always in control, being able to counter practically everyone one and having a two-shotting laser beam to protect you. One's right on my thing. Yo, Cade, get off my camera! Get off of it! Get off of it! I can't one pin. Four I... Remaining. Right on my thing four, uh, to bro. Uh, four <laughs> Dude's raging. Hey, good calls, dude. Even though you're screaming at our teammates, good shit. I know, I'm the go. Here we go. Smoked. Oh my god, that's so fucked. So fucked, you scoop. Oh, he's fucked on stage. The bar. Oh, yeah, they're like, oh, let's give Tubero an ACOG, let's give him a Lucy an ACOG. And then we have Goyo, who's also got an ACOG. You'll start seeing a pattern here soon. Operators on defense with ACOGs and good abilities are really freaking strong. With Goyo's vector having a high rate of fire and an ACOG, it's now a headshot machine, even at range. As long as you can handle a little bit of recoil, then you'll be winning every fight. So Monte, I live up. Is fucking dead. The Twitch is not over there, I don't think. Where's the Monty at? then. One out four remaining. Thank you for the diffuser. Free diffuser. Op four, last operator standing. Yeah, this is a fucked up gun, bro. Upstairs, big dog. Bro, I could never give this gun an ACOG. Anyone. Dude, are you on a webcam mic? Yo, that's, that's, that's my bad, bro. Wait, I've been on my webcam mic myself. They, they both walked in, both walking QP. Yeah, I'm picking. He walked back out. In front of my thing. Scanning. That's Buck. Demo's out there too. Oh my god, I watched him get nuked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ash is in spawn. Of course, we also need to talk about the new operator, Deimos, who is insanely strong once you learn how to use him. Not only is he great for hunting down roamers, but using him in the late round clutches is also super effective. Why did he just stand on the grenade? What? <sighs> Take a breath, boys. It's going to be all right. One V five. If you're too real in that situation, you got to swing me while I'm reloading because I don't have any ammo and you can't switch guns when the ability is active. So two bro in that case, Push the demos. Push me as I'm reloading. Sprint. It doesn't matter. I can't shoot. I got no bullets. One's by the window, I think, sound call. You got a drone though. Hey, he's swinging, he's swinging, he's swinging. He's oh, on pink four. Yeah, pink four crouch. What the fuck, he just tanked. They have a rook, don't they? Yeah, they do. He's in a little pink. Nice. Why isn't that little connector room? Oh, nade him, nade him over the top. Outskilled. <laughs> Let's That's go. crazy. Azami is still really good. Goyo, oh my gosh. The best. The best defender right now. Oh, 
spotted by hostiles. Fall back. Oh! One out, four remaining. And then you have other ACOG having defenders like Aruni, Cade, and Wamai, who are also really good. Yeah, one right in front of me. She did. Going up there somewhere. Yeah. There's two there. I'm swinging. This fool's at. Oh! I'm pranking. I'm pranking. I'm pranking. Oh, what the? <laughs> So you don't need no backup. <laughs> Deimos. Oh my god, this guy's a good piece That'd up. That'd be so fucked that two bro can just run around like that. Well, that is unfortunate timing. Told you she didn't ready one right for it. Capcan is still perfect to counter aggression, and Ying is even better now that Warden lost his 1.5, meaning he'll be picked much less often. Also, LMG's got a recoil buff, so that'll help her out too, even though the movement speed is a little bit slower with them now. He's con, right? Con, yeah. Wow. And as for Warden, I'll be rocking the shotgun on him from now on. What are you doing, boy? I do also think Brava is a super underrated pick, especially against hackable defense lineups. Her loadout is super solid, and it's hard to go wrong with her. Twitch should also be good now with all the Goyo play we'll see. I have wall hacks on you when you're outside. One out four remaining. Let's go, boss. Okay, you can't get through there now. Hold up. No. I have none left, damn. Still worth. Terrible spot to plant. The shield rework changed some things up, but shields are pretty solid, especially on tighter close range maps like Skyscraper. Blitz A's coming up. It's cooking. That was the stupidest thing I could have possibly done in that situation. Ah, oh, I missed. Fuck. I was going hard right there. And when you need to switch it up, bringing out the Osa with the ACOG on the PDW is an absolute power play. Dude, I lifted up my mouse. How am I alive? One out four remaining. One friendly operator remaining. You can plant the other. He's in B site. No more impacts, boys. He's crotch walking up to it. Nice. I could have planted, but I was too worried about uh 
all the soft walls being one HP, like if he just sprays to the walls, I'm dead. And plus there's holes everywhere and there wasn't really a safe spot to do it. So I thought it was smarter to use the time to try and like get some more info and actually just try to play it a little a little better than that because it was it was pretty risky to plant there in my opinion. I hope these operators help you out in the new season and good luck out there.